Hi Pisces and welcome to your weekly reading. This is from August uh, 28th to September 3rd. I hope that you're all doing well. Uh, anywhere that you have Pisces in your chart, this is your reading. Anytime you see this will be the right time. If the reading resonates, you claim it. If not, look at your other placements. In the reading, take what's yours and let the rest go. And feel free to swap the energies around if you feel that I'm not talking about you. I hope that you're doing well, my, be my beautiful baby sharks and uh, or handsome baby sharks. Uh, your last but not least, okay? And um, I do want to mention that for those of you that are looking for a healer, a channeler, a reader, um, someone that does different modalities, the past life regression um, or soul regression or uh, any type of healing, uh, underneath the video in the de description box below, you will get to see Mark's uh, email address that you could contact him anytime for any questions that you have. And of course, look at his web website if you resonate with him or not. It's up to you, okay? And you'll see more about his uh, history and stuff there. As for me, my announcement is that people that live in Canada, I am open only for people right now in Canada uh, for readings, okay? And also, uh, the people that live in the Montreal area, uh, if you want to have a one-on-one -on -one session with me, please contact me on my email address that's underneath the description box below. And it's Cosmic Moonchild Tyro 1111 at gmail.com. Please uh, give me time to answer you. And uh, because I'm still working on the on here uh, on YouTube full time. And so uh, and I went back to also my old uh, my old uh, job and uh, as well in the uh, in the last couple of months because they needed help. But as soon as I do have uh, time available, I will contact you if you email me and then we can set up a meeting or a session, okay? So now we're going to do the Celtic cross in your reading. We're going to look at your situation, what's crossing you as your challenge, uh, your immediate future, what is hidden from you, and the outcome. I will clarify the cards for you and at the end I will give you what the universe wants you to know. Okay, so let's get started. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Okay. It's important to shuffle the cards good, thoroughly. Okay, let's get started with your reading Pisces. Nine of Wands. Okay, so uh, there's completions that are taking place uh, at this time for you. Um, a lot. Of, okay, so patience is needed in the situation. Okay, as well, and lots of healing. You've been you've been tested uh, for a while here now, and uh, you you've been persevering through your situations or whatever it is that you're going through here, and uh, you're still standing strong. Okay, but there is ex you are exhausted here in the situation and. Uh, Patience is required for uh, to you. Patience is required, okay, in your situation. What's crossing you in your challenge is the Ten of Pentacles. It's about uh, the fruit of life. This is about something long term. It could be prosperity, uh, some type of legacy. It could be uh, uh, maybe you have you you know um, you know it could be about buying a home or something that you're working on here, okay. Uh, and that is your, what is your challenge and what's crossing you. Something st stability here. In the core, you got the Page of Cups. So there is messages coming in. There's creativity in the most part. Uh, why am I hearing blockage? I'm hearing a blockage here for someone. There could be a blockage here, okay? In terms of your creativity, you're feeling blocked at this time. In terms of what you want long term, okay? Uh, or the stability, that, the, the stability that you need. In the recent past till now, you got the Knight of Swords. 
there's a message here maybe that you're giving a message out to somebody Pisces or vice versa in your strength you got the devil now the devil can mean many things here and uh, let me just explain this okay the devil part of this reading uh, now for most part it could be that there's patterns here in a situation uh, purging of patterns or some type of purging that has to take place in terms of patterns that keep showing up in other terms if you want this ten of pentacles Saturn this is Saturn coming in okay uh, so yeah Saturn now again Saturn uh, is about material it's uh, it's about material uh, luxury a uh, material gain uh, how to go to the next level uh, Saturn helps us to go through that anyways it's about the material world okay and situations um, or it could be about uh, some type of addictions or toxic people there's many many variations to the devil card the devil card is not just oh you know it's bad or this and that no it doesn't have to be like that okay so we're gonna have to clarify to see what's going on in the immediate future you got the six of swords uh, I see you going through a transition here better times are coming ahead for you uh, restoration and peace some of you might be relocating or moving or vacationing we'll see there's travel indicated here um, in the you position you got the two of wands so as you're making plans uh, you're making plans here for the future or making plans for the immediate future here you have two paths to choose from but I feel you've chosen your path already but it's still not an action card in uh what you're not seeing in your environment is a six of wands there is recognition reward here that's taking place victory and success in the hopes and fears you got the magician you've been manifesting something here and it's coming in and in the outcome you got the eight of wands so there's a swiftness a lot of messages coming in very busy uh, things are aligning and flight is taking place here and in the overall you got uh temperance okay uh healing moderation bringing something into balance okay and patience is the key all right and underneath you got the emperor it's about taking action here towards something a lot of you are trusting or this could be someone in your environment okay it could be someone that you're attached to if the emperor is not you uh, it's about trusting your intuition here because there is something here that's been stagnant for a while you've been uh, uh, stuck or stagnant or there was something here that wasn't budging um, and it, it has to do with your ten of cups and energy it has to do with your happiness here okay so uh, we're gonna clarify the cards I have to see which cards are calling me for you for Pisces for the okay they want me to take these cards alrighty okay these are the Celtic tarot cards or Celtic Celtic I think it's Celtic yeah um, so I, I need to shuffle them there's healing that has to take place here healing yep you're very exhausted Pisces all right the cards are ready let's clarify Why is temperance here? Why is temperance here? For Pisces, some of you have uh, Sagittarius in your chart. You may have Capricorn Aries in your chart. I'm just giving out some signs, okay? Okay. Eight of Swords. The King of Swords. The Moon. <laughs> you came into your reading. Oh my God, that, I, I love that when that happens because that for me shows me that this is a very powerful reading, that you coming into your reading, you're validating what's taking place here. You're confirming with me that this is taking place. Okay, so you've been, okay, in a situation here where you needed patience, okay, uh, if you we're dealing with another type of energy, I don't know who you're dealing with, if it's you yourself or whatever it is here, okay, um, there was a lot of fear-based energy with a person maybe that you were dealing with now doesn't have to be you know but some of you were okay or or are okay and something here is still unknown okay in the situation there could be deception there could be illusions um the moon usually guides you 
along the way all right the moon rays of it uh, guides you along the way and gives you blessings here and i feel that if something here was feeling stuck where it was you feeling stuck or st someone was overthinking i feel that there's a breakthrough or something is getting released here okay like the eight of swords usually in the normal tarot cards you see all the swords around the person but the person is not really tied to it it's the way maybe they were thinking about a situation and someone here with the king of swords and energy it's like you've been observing something here okay from a distance this is what i feel now uh or just observing and you know exactly what you want and usually attain what you get you like usually go after what you want and you are going to attain it you attain what you want here okay whatever it is that you have been observing but there's been fear-based energy and blocked intuition in this situation but you pisces my beautiful pisces or my handsome pisces because there is men and women and other people that come here to uh, watch the reading is that your animal totem some of you maybe may not know but your animal totem is the owl and the owl is all knowing and all seeing so you something that you had to work through because it took a lot of patience and healing and time and yes okay there could have been sabotage in this okay or someone sabotaging it or not trusting a situation there was someone here that was standing up for themselves okay whatever the case is you had to take time out you had to take time out and reflect and go deeper into your healing and understanding the fears okay that kept showing up and patterns that kept showing up here for you okay so i do see that happening but with the king of swords whatever you put your mind on whatever your priorities are and whatever it is that you're focused on you're going uh, i do see you going for it and over and overcoming this fear okay let's look at this nine of wands here in your situation seven of swords nine of cups the king of cups five of wands the tower the hangman there was conflict here within you around you competition maybe drama in a situation the tower is coming in to change something that there's a resolve here okay within you around you whatever it is with the hangman you you were idle you couldn't move it was maybe you were in a cocoon stage you had to stay put okay and understand what this conflict was about i feel there's light shed shed light shed light shed, no no light is being shed on this situation here okay so You've been quiet about it you've been quiet about your tests uh, about what, uh, whatever your battles that you've been going through here and there's de this definitely uh keeping quiet here yeah it's okay it's okay to keep quiet here okay um not really sharing uh what's really within you here there is definitely uh, in terms of your heart in your feelings and what you feel some of you have been keeping very quiet very reserved with the king of cups and energy okay and how you're feeling here about a situation um definitely and uh, there's an energy here of um really grounding yourself and understanding a situation whatever your situation is okay uh, that you have to go through here let's look at the ten of pentacles as your uh what's crossing you and your challenge why is the ten of pentacles here The hangman the tower yep the five of wands six of swords okay you're manifesting something okay i'm getting a message here for someone here that's trying to manifest uh abundance or money or something coming in is that in to to have abundance you know the law of attraction to come in you have to let go you have to let it go for it to come to you you have to let go of you have to let go for for it to come to you okay this type of abundance or love because some of you have been feeling left out ghosted in the dark feeling abandoned in a situation or there's been changes that took place okay and um yeah whatever the case is here okay in your challenge and what's crossing you is that something here has been stagnant 
and the tower is coming in to change something there's going to be a resolve here resolution and peace again you got the six of swords you're going through a transition okay better times are coming ahead restoration and peace and blessings right you went through everything else before that and uh you're leaving something behind that was very uh difficult here some of you might be relocating or moving to for some of you out there and you've been manifesting this let's look at the page of cups in the core there's messages pages of cups is a new beginning taking place maybe or beginning of could be in terms of your creativity nine of swords the ten of cups four cups no, this card was reversed I wonder why hmm. you're overcoming a situation here Pisces something that you had to walk away from you're coming back to terms with it in terms of your intuition you're understanding something finally here someone may be returning as well okay if someone walked away there was a lot of stress here anxiety pain anguish not being able to sleep at night and with, if there was rejection or uh, being discontented or bored in the situation here whatever it was here okay um, you have to face what this ten of cups means to you what made you what makes you happy what makes you tick what makes you happy in terms of happiness love soulmate family uh, whatever it is you're um, and I feel that you are consciously aware of this and at this time you're really taking a look instead of like being bored not wanting to see something or uh, in a situation here you're being asked to look at it all right let's look at this knight of swords in the recent past till now why is the knight of swords here in the recent past till now the sun the page of pentacles reversed the nine of pentacles two of swords you're in your head about something here maybe there was a message that came in the sun was shining positive times but uh whatever offer you can maybe there's an offer that couldn't be if there was an offer that you were giving you can give that offer let me see how do i place how do i say this um you were making progress you were making progress here but you couldn't offer something or someone it was vice versa someone couldn't offer something to you at this if whatever this was okay but the sun was shining on something here and you felt it and uh i do see you making slow progress towards a situation here you were moving towards a situation even though you couldn't offer something here because you were in your head about something there was a decision that had to be rendered here whether you were going to offer something or not or could have been vice versa and there was a message that did can come in or that you gave that left you in your head about your stability your love if there was this is about love okay <clears throat> let's look at the devil in your strength two of cups justice the ace of swords the nine of pentacles the nine of cups yeah it's about opening your heart the wheel of fortune at this time in your strength okay Jupiter is coming in mm -hmm. after a time of hard work a, a time of testing uh you're thinking very logically about this there is recognition and reward okay but uh it's something that's destined and faded are you going to seize the wheel are you going to seize the moment okay this is karma and luck and there's, con there's a contract here definitely a contract here okay so whatever it is here it's about the two of cups there could be a love relationship for some of you or whatever someone coming in all right um it's about opening your heart 
because there's a completion. I do see someone very successful here that is very independent, someone that's been working on themselves here, okay? And someone here needs to open their heart because there's a breakthrough and communication that's taking place and a contract. Something here is coming into balance. The truth is, and there's going to be fairness in this. So uh, are you going to seize the wheel? Because the wheel is always over. It's always changing is the question for you. So justice is coming in. Let's look at the six of swords in the immediate future. What's this about? Ace of Pentacles, the Two of Wands, the Five of Cups, the Six of Pentacles. You're bringing something into balance here, okay? Uh, there's definitely a, uh, it's a, you're, you're letting go, you're releasing and leaving behind regret, hurt, whatever it was that you had to find that silver lining, if there had to be a closure here, whatever it was here, you're making terms with it and you're choosing your directions because there is an offer coming in. There could be a blessing or a gift, whatever, something that's tangible here for you. Uh, again, uh, there's a sense where uh, you, have to, you have to choose between two paths here, okay? Um, and you're not able at this time to take direction or not to take direction, to take action, okay? Uh, because sometimes you keep looking at these five cups, okay? As you're releasing everything and cleansing and purifying and burning here. Whatever the case is, uh, you just remember you're going through a transition okay and uh, there's blessings and restoration coming along here as you choose your path in which direction you're going here because there is something definitely coming into balance for you all right and um, there's a new beginning and passion and love and the wheel of fortune is attached to it after a time of being tested of course you're going to be thinking logically about this but there is reward and recognition because you've been manifesting this you have to open your heart to something here to forgiveness or love or abundance so let's look at this two of wands actually i'm gonna shuffle the cards in the u position again it shows the two of wands keep showing up here for you you got two 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 six six oops one more time Look at the two of wands. King, the Emperor, the Prince, Ten of Swords. There's a dead end in a situation that was very uh, hard for you. Okay. So you're going through completions here in the moment. That's why you're whatever path you're taking here, you're still not taking charge here, okay? But Spirit is asking you to take charge in a situation. Because the two of wands signifies you're not taking charge, you're just looking at what directions you're gonna go and which direction you need to go here. And there's been a difficult uh, that end in a situation of a cycle that you had to go through, which was very, 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 very difficult, very, very painful. And it, uh, it, it took a lot, of, a lot from you and um, there's completions here in the sense where uh, there's a journey that you had to go through in your chapter uh, that's ending, okay? There's there's an ending of a, of a chapter here. And it, takes, it talks about healing. It talks about being patient, um, moderation, bringing something into balance. And there is a wish that's going to be granted here for you. Whatever this commitment, whatever this is, you've been planning this for a while. And it's about taking action. So you need to take action here. There's something that you need to take action on. Okay, Pisces? Let's look at the six of wands in the environment where you're not seeing at this time. Eight of cups. Magician. Six of wands. You're leaving something behind here. A person, pain, whatever it is, you're leaving something behind. A work situation, whatever it is, you're, you're leaving something behind. But as you're leaving it behind, 
whatever you, it is that you're leaving behind here to go towards your nine and ten of cups here the cups are not behind you they're in front of you so you are aware of what you're leaving behind okay and it some of you it took place with between the new moon to now the full moon that we're gonna have in your sign Pisces which you're gonna have a lot of revelations and dream is dream time is gonna be very important for you you've been manifesting something here and there's success and victory coming in and recognition with the six of wands let's look at the magician in your hopes and fears been manifesting nine of wands the wheel nine of swords yeah you're gonna make progress here very quickly Okay, there is, after a time of test and being exhausted and persevering and being determination here, Jupiter is coming in to bring you something that's faded. Okay, the Wheel of Fortune is here. It could be something uh, that you've been working on, uh, your stability here. Uh, there could be passion with someone. Uh, definitely, um, definitely here, something is coming into balance for you. So you could also be expecting a message soon that will bring you this Wheel of Fortune. Okay luck is changing for you karma is coming in let's look at this eight of wands the three of pentacles the three of swords reversed weird queen of cups yeah there's healing that's taking place here there's healing there's love here between two people if someone is attached to you definitely something is getting into alignment here someone from your past or past life after a time of break or separation there will be some type of communication coming in okay but definitely this is about a strong foundation here it could be collaboration teamwork whatever it is here it's something is rebuilding itself and uh, healing is done and there is love here and uh, there's definitely love in being open. All right. All righty. Let's clarify. Uh, let's uh, see what the universe uh, wants you to know. For Pisces. Don't give up. Pisces, whatever it is, don't give up. Even though you feel like giving up, don't. someone from your past there's nostalgic feeling to be a past life here anything else for Pisces something is coming in divine timing positive messages are kind of come in there could be an offer okay that's coming in here or you're giving an offer but whatever the universe is saying is it's in the year it's in the right time it's in divine timing and there could be like an offer coming in for you okay or an apology don't hold back you're headed don't hold back Pisces okay uh, there's a lot of prosperity around you they want you to take action towards something you're bringing something into balance here you're going to the next level in terms of finances in terms of love in terms of health vitality some of you will be traveling you're gonna travel by car by plane by boat right and it's about you taking charge and moving forward you're trusting in the universe Yes, you're going to the next level. Okay, so I hope you enjoy your reading. Don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you soon, Pisces. Bye. Take care.